I, I've complained about this before, but one thing I don't like about Limbo is that some of the things you can interact with are not obvious. I mean, the only clue, literally the only clue you have that you can interact with this thing in the background, which is completely, sh completely covered in fog, is that he puts his hand out and looks down slightly. And that's a very subtle clue. It is something, though, so... Right, so I need to... You need to stop it from coming down, which means I need to then pull it across. You need to hit the hit the button first, so you got time to pull it across. Otherwise, it will swing underneath. But now we got the crate. Otherwise, yeah, you can kind of see it here. Otherwise, this thing goes down. It. I'll show you now. The. Uh oh, maybe I wanna. Maybe I don't wanna do that actually. Yeah, but you can... S I'll just push it up here before... In case I muck this up. But it goes down like that. And then you can't bring the crate up. And you need the crate for here. Because you got to pull this lever. And then you get a... Yes, you get a... You get a rope or a chain. Which you want to bring back up. Which means you have to have... Have the crate there in order to grab it. See, I know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to work, rework it out as I go along. Oh wow, it's uh, it's gone quite high now. But I think I can take this without. I think I can take this without any fall damage or any murdering of myself. Hey, I did it. Oh, we got more, more of these buttons, which means, yeah, a blade. Oh, I mucked it up. I was too slow. I think that's one of the death footage scenes from the uh, first episode intro as well. So now that's two that we've got as actual... As they actually happen. They're canon now. Story for the win. Uh-oh. I was too slow again. I think I'm... Because you need to get that second crate on top of the first. Ah, and I think I know the issue. Wait. No, that would make it come down quicker. What am I talking about? So, I need to hit that. And then try not to get squished by the... Ow. Oh dear, am I dead? Oh wow, I didn't know you could die from dropping a crate on your head. Well, that, that's something you... Uh, that's something I didn't know. Uh oh, not again. And I think I've gone too slow. Yeah. Well, so much for knowing all the puzzles and what to do, eh? Gotta go real fast, and I'm too slow. So clearly I'm just doing the wrong thing, and I should bring this crate along first. Maybe if I, now I hit that, now I've got this crate down. But is this going to be too slow? I mean, I feel like, nope, I did it. And I did it just in time. Man, that was a little dicey. I, <laughs> I don't know what I was playing at there. I got the timings all wrong. Here we are, whoa. What was that? Was that, I think that's a, a fly? But yes, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier in an earlier episode there's a cave down here and I have no idea what's going on but you go down here and you can hear things there are all sort now I've got water I think I just dropped there I don't know I'm gonna see how far I can go before I die oh no I got to the end and then there's that noise it's creepy I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop mucking around in the darkness. Although it feels like I'm dropping every now and again. But now, yeah, it's sufficiently creepy down there. And I don't know what, what on earth's going on. It's got its own uh, Limboverse... Limboverse side story down there. 